First, we're going to have a special message about the whole Sayu and Kenji situation and where I stand on that. Then we're going to go into further things about what is happening with Nidhi Sanji, the fact that Millie is now begging for super chats, and the stocks and CCV are going down for everybody, as well as Suisei doing some wonderful things for Hololive staff. That and more in this Nidhi Sanji and Hololive segment. I just wanted to clear up something that happened on the last video. Uh, the way I worded things made it seem like I was defending Kenji in saying the whole PDF file thing. Um, that I was defending him uh, trying to find out the past life thing of Sayu. Uh, all those are horrible takes. All those are horrible things to do. You should not do that no matter how big or small you are. If you think you're going to disappear uh, because you're too small, that doesn't make sense. That is not good. That is horrible. I fully disavow that. I'm sorry that the way that I said it, I'm sorry that I didn't say it correctly. Uh, I'm sorry that it came out that way. I did not mean for it to come out in a way that I was even tacitly agreeing to the fact that he said that about her. Uh, Sayu has every single reason to be angry. And all I was saying at that moment was that it wasn't the right timing, but she's the one who gets to decide the timing. And that was a bad take on my part. I do apologize for that bad take. I apologize for it making anyone uh, feel like I was taking a side of a person who was actually saying something very wrong because I fully disavow that stuff, of course. And I thank you for giving me another chance if you do, and I hope you enjoy the video. As I will say later in this video, uh, Kenji should be held accountable. Kenji should absolutely be held accountable for what he said because he doubled down on it, I think, recently as well, as I'll mention. Uh, but yes, I will correct things that I have misspoken about in this video, and I will correct uh, correctly state what needs to be correctly stated and put a hopefully a final end to this whole thing that Sayu wants to do as well. All right, I'm putting this in here because I was one of the ones who misread this and Sayu has clarified everything. To clarify what I said, because some people aren't reading it properly. Nobody deserves to be doxxed and nobody should encourage doxing. Those who do so don't have the right to cry about it when it happens to them. Furthermore, to encourage doxing another person after experiencing it firsthand is insane. To this day, I'm still being slandered and called a P, which uh, I have in the video that, you know, I don't agree with this. I don't agree with her being called that ever for a joke I made about a fictional character. This obviously does not translate into my real life behavior and my friends can attest to that. Using such a word, as haphazardly as Kenji does, only serves to water the term down and empower real predators. Obviously, I've made my mistakes in the past, and so have many other content creators. I can attest to that. And people will continue to make mistakes in the future. However, just because you've been doxxed does not automatically make you a flawless victim. That is very true. You can still be held accountable for your actions. Hold Ken held Kenji accountable for his, too. I fully agree with this. Uh, this person says, I do not support the fact that he tried to draw him a farm during Sayu's stuff. At least, uh... You have to at least say, holy S. So much has happened in the last hour. Kenji came out on stream a couple days ago with another VTuber called Double Love, you know, doxed him. Phoenix was the first to come out and publicly apologize and silence for a couple of hours. Six hours ago, we had uh, Kage, Rikami, and Dove making statements. Kage, sorry. Riki, sorry. And left the Mofongo Boys. The Mofongo Boys are, were a group of uh, v male VTubers. They're pretty much done at this point. And everyone left, pretty much. Guy next came out with a huge set of pictures from the Discord hate group, showing that Kage and others were in the group chat. How the hell can this be, get this ashes so quick? This is um, Kage saying basically, you know, that uh, uh, Kenji should be um, canceled and things like that. The docs and all the receipts dated 2022. Some people stated that the culprit already apologized privately numerous times, but um, didn't really show any kind of actual remorse. Kind of weird that Maki person is condemning the moral high ground here when they were cleared in the group chat as well. Uh, you know, still wish Sai wasn't too harsh. And now I worry that Kenji fans are going to come for her. That's the problem. She painted a, a target on her back. She has every right to be pissed off. Look, I will say this. Like I said, I try to be as objective as I can. She has every right to be pissed off. She has every right to be angry at the whole situation. She has every right to be frustrated at Kenji because of what he said about her. And she reposted something like this. He farmed drama for content. He didn't care that she was being doxxed and en masse. Online is certainly fed that docs in the same way the likes of false ID or kill feed horrible behavior. So now uh, 
Sayu reposted this. Again, this is probably going to lead to more brigading. It shouldn't. She's free to have any thoughts that she wants, and she's fully justified in having the thoughts that she wants because she was a victim of some serious, serious doxing, and she was a victim of some serious, serious harassment for like over a year until the the uh, the Selene thing happened. Then people kind of got on her side. Guys, probably giving content. Noted that Sayu accepted false invitation to be interviewed. Should be no blood between bad blood between them. Kill who knows. Kyo did a direct stream into Sayu's one time and was thanking Kyo and Kyo hi. Thinking Sayu would be a bad blood with false and Kyo. Yeah, none of us are against none of us are against Sayu. Absolutely none of us are against Sayu. I'm not against Sayu. I just think it was bad timing on her part. That's it. They're using the Kenji drama. Karma didn't come around for you. You had an S experience at a job held for three months. This is stupid. This is bad. I don't agree with this at all. This is this is worse. This is the worst take than what Sayu did. This is super worse. Sayu was just angry. That was it. It was a bad time. It wasn't a bad take. It was a bad timing. That's it. The take was good, but the timing was probably not the best. Uh, Karma to come around for you had a shit experience at a job you held for three months. Ever since you've been leeching off the suffering of others. This is just a needy sister being angry. I said this, someone who watched her before she became developed this following. She was easily my fave member of her wave. I was willing to give her the benefit of the doubt. I doubt it. I highly doubt it. This person's just trying to seem, you know, altruistic. Uh, um, despite her mistakes and felt her reading the doc, but she's continuing to prove that she sucks. I hope she becomes better. I hope she learns to be accountable and stop dragging people who moved on. That will require her to sacrifice a vast chunk of her audience. Uh, this person's wrong in every single way, I think. Said the one who infamously known as Needy Sister edited content. Uh, context also the one who cowardly using my maid name as Meat Shield. Did they forget the Sai was streaming normally for one year before the Selenes? She never really did farm on the Niji hate train. She never did. She just wanted to be on her own, you know? And here's the issue that I have. He ended up doubling down recently on the PDF file thing. And that's where I have an issue with him. You do not double down on something like that. You do not double down on such a nuclear bad take. Because you do not call someone that, the PDF file thing, if you actually uh, know what you're talking about. Because that is for the lowest of the low. That is for that is for the, the worst case scenario. And doing this is just not right. That is a nuclear L, nuclear bad take. I don't agree with this, and I don't support him in doing this. So Millie has become an e-beggar, at least from what it shows here. Millie Parfait is begging for super chats. Here she goes. Hello, as you know. I have my 3D live tomorrow. Uh, I made a skit where you're supposed to throw me super chats. You'll see it, LMAO. Please throw some super chat and remember milestones so I don't embarrass myself. Thank you for participating. Uh, so yeah, she's begging. Insert Claude claw mark words. Yeah, you could just ask for it. She indeed effing asked. Come join Nidhi Sanji. You'll have to beg for money. Millie has the making to become a professional wrestler. She is carny as any of them. Bro, beggars are going to laugh so hard if they see someone who works for a huge billion dollar company still begging for fans money. Uh, Millie used to have a hat. She made a stream where it was just her hat. Everyone Aka supered like crazy. She couldn't believe it and burns the hat live on stream. Fans beg her to stop burning the hat. So yeah, she's she's getting angry at the hat, I guess. Meanwhile, Kurosan Jien is opening an audition. I hope someone makes it to the meme so we can hear the green parrot laugh at it. It's a unique voice. Limo's da. Uh, oh yeah, this is actually in Indonesian, I believe. Wait, that's not supposed to share. I feel sorry for Millie. Um, she's just too naive. She keeps shooting herself in the foot. And here's what they're what they were putting in here. Good luck. I say my member. Uh, good thing I saved my member milestone for 3D debut. Good luck, Millie. We've got you, Millie. No worries. Held on to my member milestone exactly for this moment. We got you, Millie. So yeah, I mean, people are supporting her, which is perfectly fine. Um, it's perfectly fine for people to be supporting her. My correction, that's Filipino, not Indonesian. Corrected myself. That was Filipino back then, not Indonesian. As members only post, presumably she thought only people who would let still like her would see it. Still, even coming up with the idea of a skit supposed to have a chat throw super chats as a result is pretty desperate. Um, yes, but should know better. Nothing remains secret on the internet. She should have learned from what happened to Anna when she said stupid things on her member stream. She should definitely know better that it would leak out. But at this point, I legit think she needs to. She might need the money and she doesn't care. Yeah, I think she's just asking for money because she absolutely needs it. Isn't the 3D debut pre-recorded? How can supers and memberships react to the planned skit? You know what? You're right. I didn't even remember that 3D debuts are pre-recorded. That makes it even worse. Needy talent really never learned from their mistakes, huh? I mean, a lot of her co-workers got their word analyzed to the very detail, especially here after you have you have to ask for perms. Um, have you asked for perms yet? Tweet. And even memberships aren't really safe anymore. Kuro, Enna, Millie etc never really learned from their past mistakes and others as op said clearly a joke but this kind of situation the talent and niji's in just sounds so much different 
Someone pointed out this 3D is pre-recorded. Yeah, I don't know how that's gonna happen. It's pre if it's pre-recorded. Not gonna end well for her. I don't know, it sounds like a joke, but the practice aren't sure use where, you know, it's like it might be a joke, might not be a joke, we don't know, but it's it still doesn't look good for her. And here's someone making a meme about it. Spare some super chats. Uh she really went back to that part of her lore, huh? I guess that's a part of her lore. And that's a Squidward one, of course. Uh Gibara, the wealthy VTuber. Maybe it's good like this, but since it's gonna all be pre-recorded, who knows? Oh yeah, it's always been a thing in the JP side. They have different assets that falls whenever someone joins their members of supers. But if this was live, I wonder how they would do a pre-recorded one. Damn, I remember this. I see Gibara as a sad. I really miss watching her. I don't know what she's doing on her PL. Personally, for me, she's the most schizo and unhinged YouTuber of all. Uh, this clip was before taxes, so let's take a look at the clip. It's gonna be, uh, it's without sound for some reason, but yeah. <laughs> she's trying to catch him. And, and it, it comes, it like... It, it, like hit, it actually has collision, which is interesting. But yeah, this is what Millie wants to do. This is what Millie wants to do. Right here, look. <laughs> She's making fun of the whole situation. It's my dream. Oh god, everyone's showering her with super chats. Holy crap. Dream is to drive in money. A lot of people miss Gibara. She did this as a joke, of course. She did this as a kind of a, a, of a, of a skit, but it worked for her uh, because people love her for, you know, the, the personality. She even did thumbs up. Gibara, Gibara. So yeah, but yeah, this was done the right way. And uh, the thing that Millie's trying to do has not been done the right way. So she did it in a members only post. She did it in a members only situation. So she thought that no one on the outside, no one who dislikes her was going to see it. But some people still do memberships for just seeing what people will do on the membership side. Uh, so that is, it is what it is. But I still don't think it's a good idea for her to even joke about that, especially in the situation that she's in. It would not look good for anybody, especially not for her, Then you know, with the Niji Sanji EN thing. Of course, she's free to do what she wants, but it's just a bad look, in my opinion. A short Niji stock break. Right now, the... Niji Sanji stocks are, according to this one, not doing so well, not faring so well. We're going to take a look at the actual Niji stocks right now. And yeah, they had a bit of, they started at 23.50. And yesterday they had a bit of a dip. It kind of went up in a weird, I don't know what that was about. Uh, maybe it was lunchtime. And then when it opened up, it, it did it again. And it went back down. That's pretty much what ended up happening here when it came to um, the whole uh, Niji Sanji stock situation. The, the prices are going up and down. It's going to be like that for a while. It's not going to be too crazy. Uh, stocks will always go up and down in the short term. I'm more interested in quarter four. It's still not crossed the low of 2110. It did it over a year ago, 10th of March, 2023. Hasn't broken the 2000 milestone. Who knows if it will, because it might be protected by the Nikkei, uh, like Japan. I'm protecting it. The full 2024 report due in June and the general shareholder meeting in July. So until that happens, we won't know exactly what's going to happen. It's worse. Quarter four may end up looking better because of the barrage of events that you came up with. But the uh, next report, no hope. Exactly, because they used all their all their ammo for quarter four because they want to finish the year in the best way possible. Now, the year, the fiscal year has ended, but the quarter four reports do not happen until like two or three months afterwards. So that's what we're looking for right now. And to continue on what was happening with the Nidhi stocks, we're talking about a different crash in this situation, which is the CCVs of the JP talents. It says Nidhi is, is uh, a familiar drama here with the collapse of EN, but in fact, JP is also rapidly losing customers and seems to be collapsing. The explanation and raffle for Niji JP's Mario Kart tournament, which was also streamed just now, set a shocking record for almost having the CCV since last time. Like the last time they did it was 108. This time they did it, it was 52K. It was still a lot, but 52K. The max CCV, it looks like. Now it seems like it could be accepted as shock at JP community. As for the cause, it seems to be analysis that the JP is also losing customers due to any color successive cover ups and scandals. And the Ashki incident, the issues Niji officials defaming uh, and harassing VTubers and other companies. JP uh, Niji's sisters seem quite shocked by the result. Listen, half of them must have been totally unexpected. Um, you read more about the Ashki issue in these articles, the inversions, basically um, slander. Yeah, the Ashki one was the the uh, the person who was slandering the mod, who was slandering uh, uh, Hoshimachi Suisei. 
she was, he was a mod for a lot of Nidhi Sanji livers, so it might have been, you know, tacitly agreeing to it with Nidhi Sanji. And yeah, it was just a bad take. It was it was really like he really messed up on that one. He should not have even talked the way he did. He really showed his the, what side he was on, that type of thing. JP Nidhi sisters thought Ian Drama was a fire on the other side of the liver of the river, but now after all this time, they seem to have come to realize the reality of accumulation of bad scandal to date has greatly reduced the number of JP customers as well. As for the cause, there seems to be an analysis. JP is also losing customers at sea. Such irony considering that they should have a partnership with Cover and other few agencies so they can work together to prevent combat slander, harassment, defamation of VTubers and enjoy sharing information only to be revealed that they were part of the harassment all along. The drop was too big. One of the reasons could be that last year's host was Kenmochi, one of the most famous male in Niji, but still a 50% drop seems unrealistic. Maybe JP viewers caught on to what's going on in EN and now have a negative impression. It could very well be the negative impression is just going there because once you have negative publicity, unless you apologize, it's hard to uh, get away from it and it's hard to fix it. It's very hard to fix it once you have bad publicity. Suisei KO'd it out of there. She's just out of nowhere. She decided to make curry for everybody. Suichan released an AR vlog of her cooking curry for the man, the myth, the legend, Yago and 300 cover support staff out of 500 staff members. Sad noises for 200 staff that didn't get it. The vlog had been in the work for a month and at least, but quality definitely below that of Kurosanji AR Live, which had been working for a year. Um, thank God the Yacht Man never buy out uh, Suisei's JP ip back then because he deemed suisse is not good enough for yacht man company deliberate we never know the land of needy sisters imagination we're going to take a look at it of course just imagine 300 employees into the kitchen he says he says hi honey hi honey sad day in vtuber history when 300 staff a uh, hollow life collectively passed away needy's ar had a had a year but they probably didn't even bother to improve it yago and merch promotion team really knows how to promote the merch by having a team building event kill two birds with one stone Merch got promoted smoothly without feeling like a long commercial ad, and staffs had a good time with team building and got interviewed by Suisei to show behind the scenes and their day to day work in the viewers. So, yeah, she did a, a, a behind the scenes thing. So, that was really nice. He, apparently, from people were saying, a uh, 30 minute video by her humble beginnings on YouTube. Her journey is more like she deliberately didn't want to reincarnate, want to sell her Suisei IP as Suisei, an integral part of herself. Only Inanaka Music uh, was actually, you know, willing to do it. Suisei got transferred to Hololive later for better management. It's pretty much happened with Suisei. She applied to every VTuber company that she could, pretty much, and got rejected for everywhere except a Hololive for Inanaka Music eventually. She got rejected the first time, the second time she actually went through. Part two for the other 200, who knows? Those are hot my wild stew, oh god. 200 employees of Cover Corp all passed away due to, yeah, due to food poisoning. Has any Niji Liver done any of this color staff stuff? On a similar note, Cover hired a chef to cook wild ideas made by Holomems. Interns in high school or part-timer didn't get employee benefits. Wouldn't surprise me if any color staff is less than a fraction of the people shown here, to be honest. And this is why it's my second favorite Hololive girl. And here we go with the um, specific thing here. Let me, uh, I think we have, we should have. She cooked curry. <laughs> she actually is cooking curry. Of course, she covers everyone's faces. So she had interviews with everyone else as well. So this is this is really great. I'm glad. Apparently, uh, going more on this whole Suisei thing, uh, Yago has an old classmate whose daughter is apparently a Hoshiyomi. Yago said Cover now has around 500 employees, which is why Suisei's original plan was to have her cook for 500 employees. But cooking for 500 employees would be too taxing, so she reduced it to 300. Suisse interviewed some staff and worked on a project like Hollow Earth and Hollow Plus. Also, there's Invisible Miko on the right. Apparently, she's there because she wants to eat the curry too. So, Grim Miko went in to try to eat the curry. That's that's amazing. Might not be that relevant to Kurosanji, but a few important points to be drawn from this. Cover lets Suisse do this for a short vlog video. Yago is still approachable as ever, though he might be very busy. Cover now has 500 employees. Too bad 200 missed out next time. Um... Kyo mo kawaii, but as much as I appreciate Suisei sama, the video is entirely unrelated um, to Nidhi Sanji, so it'd be best if you take it off. No, I don't want to do a mod action of Suisei sama's video. They take it off, it's, it is what it is, but yeah, Suisei did did something nice. And, you know, because apparently Yago's uh, daughter is or is a Hoshiyomi. I'm really glad that she was able to do this. I'm really glad that she went through with all of this. I'm really glad that she and the Hololive staff were able to enjoy themselves and she was able to get and have fun like she should, like she always should. I, 
I'm very happy and I'm glad to say is at, at that company because now look at her she's amazing she's shown her her uh, her amazing voice and she's shown the amazing content creator that she can be here is something interesting it's um snake is dummy thick we already know that snake had the the clap of his booty uh being able to alert the guards every single time so this person here says uh oh just being silly for the oshi for mint phantom only do not steal uh hello hello she likes the dummy thick snake she likes dummy thick snake snake cake art by Lewood co on twitter them the shading of those tushies the ass is too small it should be big enough to have its own separate pillow mouse pad idea I always remember the ghost Freudian slip when she typed naked naked on the pole and favorite snake. My snake is solid now. Oh God, these people. These people are, are insane. These people are quite wild, but I wanted to do it. Kind of show you a bit of, uh, you know, memes here and there. I do like doing a little bit of meme time. So here you go. Once again, this one. Snake with the cake. Snake with the cake. That is all for right now. Of course, comment, like, and subscribe down below. Thank you for being here. Of course, I love having the conversations with you guys. I love having these things with you guys. And I do appreciate it whenever you guys do comment. Take a look at my description for my socials. There's a Discord. There's Twitter. There's other places that you can check me out. Twitch, etc. And also check on your screen right now because there might be a video that you might enjoy. Thank you.